Hey man, Ryan Bridge Bug Man, and I'm out here in the middle of a farm pasture. Uh, this is a farm that I hunt, and I want to show you guys the green June beetle. It's a catenus species. Um, very cool. I got a farm pasture out here. The males and females are just going crazy. Uh, females are finally starting to emerge out of the ground, and the males are buzzing around all over the place. So I'm gonna take you into the world real quick of the green June beetle here in the Eastern US. Uh, in the Western US, these are known as fig beetles and they get big. Here in the Eastern US, they don't get much bigger than my thumbnail. So a little less exciting for folks out there, but, but around here, these beetles, uh, they kind of get people jazzed up because they see them. They don't know if they're bumblebees or what are they. They see these, their whole front yard sometimes will fill up with low flying buzzing you know, hordes of beetles, uh, and it's just a green June beetle. They feed on the, the roots in the in the sod in the yard grass. So let me uh, let me walk around here real quick. Let me see if I can get you some good close ups of some of these beetles. Super cool bugs. So beetles are in the order Coleoptera. Most beetles can fly. Most beetles do, in fact, fly. There are some beetles that have full wings underneath those elytras but don't even use them. There are some beetles that have incomplete wings. There are some beetles that have an incomplete elytra. But as you can see, when a beetle flies, they don't even use the top shells. They don't use those larger elytras. The wings are underneath and they're almost double hinged to fit inside and underneath those elytras. So all the beetle has to do is lift the elytra, pop the wings out, take flight. Nature is cool. Okay, man, here's a male green June beetle. Beautiful. Beautiful beetles. And again, these are scarab. And here's another one. I'm going to see if I can stabilize this a little bit and not spook this beetle. There's a lot of wind out here in the pasture. This is also a male. He's got a little brown on him as well. Not as much green as some of them. But it's still cool to see these beetles. Isn't that cool? And again, we'll find a female. Females are gonna be much browner. They camouflage a little better. If this were a female, it would probably be bombarded by males right now. So. Here's a good look. This is a female. Not as brown as some of them, but she's, a, she's getting there. Gives you an idea of the size as well. So we're not talking large beetles. Out west, these things get really big and beefy and again or they're known as fig beetles out out west around here we don't have fig trees we don't have to worry about that but they're not damaging they're not a problem to anybody uh, i think they freak people out just because they show up in swarms in people's yards because they're eating the, the yard the, the roots of the yard grass otherwise just cool beetles so there's kind of a good look at a female I'm going to put her back here where I found her and see if I can go find you better examples because these, so far, these are getting a little tricky. But, put this is a great example of a female. She was just getting chased by a male. He's still over here looking for her. I grabbed her out of the weeds. He's still over there looking around for her. And they might have, they might have made it if I'd have left them alone, but, um, it didn't look like she was too interested in him at the moment. So either way, I did want to give you a good example of the female because so far I'm finding mostly males, which makes sense. The females are going to be down probably in the ground, in the grass, in the substrate, uh, in these high weeds, and they're using pheromone to attract the males in. Uh, I'm also somewhat surprised she's not trying to fly away because I'm actually holding her by her leg right now, and I'm not holding her tight enough to, you know, if she really, really wants to get away, she'll pull away. 
but I was hoping she might even try to take flight. No, she's having a conversation with a fly now. <laughs> Flies are funny. Turn her loose. Watch this. Because they can fly for sure, man. They do like to do that. Zoom, she's gone. This is the scarab family. The genus is Cotinus. And this is a great example of a female. There's a lot of variation to these things, admittedly. It's tough sometimes to tell. Hey man, be sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you like what's going on here and you enjoy it, then help me out, all right? Thanks, I appreciate your support. Take care, guys. All right, guys. Hey, I am back at the house now. I left all the green June beetles back at the farm. Um, I was hoping to find some flying around my yard. As many as there were up at that farm, I was really hoping to find a couple cruising around my yard. Um, they're not here yet. They will. They will eventually be here. They're going to show up in my native's garden, and they're going to show up out here in my yard. They always do. And they do because I don't spray my yard. I don't have companies come in and treat my yard grass, which is kind of why I wanted to do this last-minute closeout with you guys uh, look, if you're spraying your yards, if you're if you're dumping chemical into your properties, you are not going to have these kind of things happening for you. You're not going to have wildlife. You're not going to have the, the insects and the, the bugs that are important out here. You're going to find yourself looking around for lightning bugs and wondering why you don't have these things flying around. Um, it's because of our yard grass and because of our propensity to want to keep it looking nice or make it beautiful or whatever it is we're doing. I don't do any of that stuff, man. I don't even, even cut my lawn more than about once a week um, just because I just like to kind of let things go and give them a chance. Um, those beetles, those little catenus beetles, they're going to be here sooner or later. It's only a matter of time. They're here every year. They have a propensity to hide under rocks and logs and larger structure, though. So if you're not seeing, you know, damaged, you know, you're not seeing brown spots in your yard or things like that, that's why. They're not killing and harming your your, your lawns. They're just eating the roots beneath the sod. That's all they're doing. And typically, once the larvae get, you know, a little bit bigger than maybe maybe close to an inch, they're going to move out of your yard grass because then that's the predators find them there. And they move up underneath the larger structure in your gardens, underneath your bricks and your walls and your, your, your logs and things like that, the larger structure you might have laying around. If you have stair steps, or uh, stepping stones or things like that in your gardens. They're probably going to be there. Um, you, raise, you, you lift those stones up, you'll probably see them there. Um, I see these beetles in my yard all summer long, but usually I find the larvae, the grubs, way more so than the beetles. So, again, falls back on, stop spraying our lawn, stop dumping chemicals all over the planet, and let's give nature a chance. What do you think, man? You think you handle that? I think we can. I think nature deserves it. Guys, that is it. I'm all done lecturing you about your yards and your grass and your chemicals and all that fun stuff. But man, what cool little beetles those are. Those green June beetles are neat. And I'm really looking forward to having them here. You know, at some point, I'm hoping they're going to be buzzing my yard too. They don't come to lights at night, so don't expect to see them there. Okay? Hey, we are all done. And you know the rule. All right? Look, be well. Be safe. It is still pretty angry out here. And most of all, the most important thing is let's all be kind. All right, guys. It's Ryan and Bugman. I'm out. See ya.